watching KOCO TV5, Oklahoma City. Now, live, local, late breaking. This is Eyewitness News 5 tonight. Tonight, two people saved the lives of two police officers. We'll explain. Tonight. Those who wouldn't normally get to see the big El Reno McAllister game because they live way out of town or in some cases another state are here tonight because it's a holiday weekend. Local. And some important tips you need to know before you start trimming your Christmas tree. Eyewitness News 5 tonight starts right now. And good evening. Thanks for being along with us. I'm Jennifer Eve. We're going to begin tonight with some late breaking news as two police officers from the town of Kettle end up in the hospital after their patrol car literally explodes. It happened along Highway 37, three and a half miles east of Tuttle. Their patrol car was driving back onto the highway after making a routine traffic stop when it was hit from behind. Our Jim Patton joins us live from the newsroom with more on the story. And Jim, first of all, how are the officers? Well, Jennifer, both men are in good condition at Hillcrest Hospital here in Oklahoma City. A fact that they may owe to two young men who saw what happened and acted very quickly to save these officers' lives. This is what's left of the patrol car that carried Officer Randy Johnson and Reserve Officer Kevin Sheets. As soon as they pulled out that truck, they had no chance to stop. And the cop merged over into the left lane, and there's this 99 Chevy pickup. Hit him right in the gas tank, the cop car and it blew up right, I mean, right when they hit it. Me and my Nick Redding and his brother Chris were driving to their cousin's house when they saw the accident. It was one of the things I didn't even have to think about. It. I just jumped out and started helping. As the two worked to free the officers, flames were quickly spreading from the back of the vehicle, and there was another problem. And Officer Johnson was, he couldn't get out of his seatbelt, and we were tugging, and one gentleman finally got it off, and we were able to pull him away from it. As it turned out, their rescue was made without a moment to spare. And then right as we dragged them over, the, the car blew up one more time. So we just got in that right in time. When it was happening, I wasn't thinking. When it was over, I felt good. I mean, and to know if we weren't there, that they might have not made it. Just an incredible night for those young men. As we said, both officers listed in good condition tonight at Hillcrest Hospital. Now, amazingly, neither suffered any burns, but both were bruised up pretty badly. Both men, in fact, did lose consciousness for a short period during transport to the hospital. Now, the driver of the truck that hit the patrol car was apparently not injured. In fact, he helped in the rescue effort. He was released at the scene. An investigation into possible fault is underway. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jim Patton, Eyewitness News 5. Amazing story. Thanks, Jim. We have some new information for you tonight on that deadly shooting last night just a few blocks from the state capitol. Tonight, police tell us the victim is 18-year-old Keith Jeffries. He was shot to death at a house along Northeast 19th Street. 36-year-old Donna Smith is behind bars tonight in the Oklahoma County Jail on a first-degree murder complaint. Police say the shooting was drug-related. A Metro family had their keepsakes under lock and key at a storage center, but that wasn't good enough. A holiday crook had a field day over the Thanksgiving weekend at Moore Mini Storage, walking away with Nick Fox's toolbox, stereos, and other valuables. He wasn't the only victim. The thief also cut off row after row of padlocks. Despite the storage facility's coded access and lighting, only units with these more secure round locks were untouched. High school football fans flocked to Norman tonight to watch the El Reno Indians take on the McAllister Buffaloes in the state playoffs. It's an important game because whoever wins tonight is heading to the state championship. But Eyewitness News 5 reporter Brooke Osborne says there's another reason this particular game is so special. And she joins us now live from Norman High with that. Brooke? Jennifer, it's special because of who's in the stands. School spirit and holiday spirit become one as the El Reno Indians try to hunt down the McAllister Buffaloes. If you wouldn't mind just kind of telling us why you're able to be at this game tonight. I uh, came down for Thanksgiving holiday. So if, if it weren't for the Thanksgiving holiday, would you be able to have made it to the game tonight, do you think? No, we wouldn't have been able to come up at all. <laughs> Kim Panter came all the way from Houston to visit family in El Reno. She says getting to see the game is just gravy on the turkey. My mom and dad, Benson Sue LeBeau, Second down. Um, yeah. she's a school teacher there, and my sister graduated from El Reno, so we just came on out for the game. For Bart Bosler, up from Plano, coming to the game allows him to relive old memories. Because I used to play for El Reno, too, so 
It's nice. What did you play when you played football here? I was a defensive end, believe it or not. Dare I ask when that was? I graduated in 1985, so I played in 83 to 85. So you would really understand the importance of this game. What What is on the line here? Um, well, there's a lot on the line, uh, mainly just city pride. El Reno's just a real proud town. Uh, wrestling's real big in El Reno, and football's also real big, so just town pride. Now, what would have the chances... Now, I'm going to keep you in suspense and not tell you who won the game. I'll let our sports department do that tonight in Prep Sports Extra. Reporting live, Brooke Osborne, Eyewitness News 5. All right, Brooke, and speaking of football, be sure to join our Oklahoma Sports Central team for our pregame special on the final Bedlam game of the millennium. It's Bedlam 99, live from Campus Corner in Norman, tomorrow morning at 1130, here on KOCO TV 5. Now. Your first weather with Chief Meteorologist Rick Mitchell. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. What a fine one it's going to be. Now, some of you, this this will be a four-day weekend for you, but uh, the rest of us get Saturday and Sunday. We're looking forward to it, too. It was a nice one this afternoon, kind of hard to come to work when temperatures were in the upper 60s. These are highs throughout the metro, 68 at Will Rogers World Airport. Bethany had 68, 69 in Edmond, 68 in Minko, and 66 in Shawnee. The weather tomorrow for Bedlam looks fantastic. Plenty of sunshine, a kickoff temperature in the upper 60s. I'll have the outlook, the traveler's outlook for Sunday on into next week, and uh, may see some big changes come into our forecast next week. More on that in a bit. For now, though, that's the latest from the 24-hour First Alert Weather Center. All right, thanks, Rick. Well, how do you keep your evergreens green? Next, some things you might not know about keeping your Christmas tree at its best. Plus, the sitcom star takes a stop in the metro. Hear what he says he does best. Coming up. Folks, I'm Jack Elliott, and this is a November you're going to remember here at David Stanley Chevrolet. Why? Because we've got the lowest price on GM program cars. Listen to this. A 98 Venture minivan loaded for $12,980. Or this loaded 98 Lumina, $89,80. Here's a 98 Malibu loaded auto, air, and more for $89,80. Or a loaded 98 Cavalier, air, auto, and more, $69,80 is all you're going to pay. A November to remember at David Stanley Chevrolet I-240 at South Walker. <laughs> Oklahoma is filled with wide open spaces. Dodge Ram offers wide open spaces waiting to be filled. And right now, your Oklahoma Dodge dealer is offering this magnum-powered Ram filled with air, cassette stereo, and more for zero down and just $1.99 a month. And since Ram is the longest-lasting full-size pickup on the road, chances are you'll be on the road with yours for a long time to come. But if you want one, you've got to fly to the friendly Oklahoma Dodge dealer near you. Today's lesson, holiday shopping. First, get to Prime Outlets. There's lots of stores, so wear comfortable shoes. Ooh, these look comfy. <laughs> Always get the best designer brand names. That's our finest for kale. Yeah, but will it hold up in a pillow fight? <laughs> Don't forget your gift list. There's something for everyone. This will look great on Uncle Sid. You don't know my Uncle Sid. <laughs> brand names, selection, values. What more could you want for the holidays? Prime Outlets. This is shopping. Friday night is half past five. Job well done, this soul survived. Stocks or bonds, it's Karen's call. Take stock in life and have a ball. Mazda Protégé. In a world full of risks, it's a pretty sound investment. spending everything you have. In fact, with Jeep Cherokee Sport's low lease rate of $279 a month, you may even have a little change left over. Now get all this at no extra charge. Check one out at your Jeep dealer. In the V8-powered rear-wheel drive Mercury Grand Marquis, the best-selling full-size car in the Southwest with the government's highest crash test rating, five stars. And now Grand Marquis comes with no charge maintenance. For two years, just add gas. Plus, low 4.9% APR financing. 
So get to your Mercury dealer now. The day after Thanksgiving is said to be the official kickoff to the Christmas shopping season. But before you can have Christmas presents, you have to have a tree to put them under. Today, many people went shopping for fresh trees. They smell great, but they can present some problems if you don't take proper care of them. Our Susan Parks joins us live to give us some tips on tree maintenance. Susan? Well, Jennifer, buying a fresh Christmas tree isn't always a no-brainer. Some people learn the hard way when their tree turns brown before Santa arrives. Here, look at this tree. Would you like that tree in your house? <gasps> oh, I know. That is a very pretty tree. Picking out a fresh Christmas tree is an annual tradition for the Kosanke family, and now that they have little Carson, they're especially mindful of safety. We keep it watered. And, you know, we, we watch after it closely and turn our lights off. And That's a good start. Add to that this safety tip from David Scott. He's been selling fresh trees for decades. But the main thing is to cover the heat vent, keep the heat off the tree. That includes direct sun. The only place you do want heat? In the water. The first time you put water in, put hot water in. Other tips to keep your tree green through Christmas morning? Once you bring it home, let the tree stand in a bucket of water for 24 hours so the branches relax before decorating. Set your tree in a plastic stand. Metal stands rust, and rusty water is bad for trees. Check your water levels twice a day and lower the temperature in the house. The higher the humidity, the better the tree is. You know? Paying attention to these tips will keep your fresh tree fresh and smelling like a pine forest through Christmas. It's worth taking care of. Now, the National Christmas Tree Association says 33 million Americans will buy a real tree this year. That's about the same as last year. And good news, supplies should be plentiful. Susan Parks, Eyewitness News 5. Well, Susan, trees aren't the only things people are buying this season. Tonight is the busiest shopping day of the year is winding down. We want to give you an idea of just how many people storm the stores today. We parked one of our cameras at Target for two hours. This time-lapse video shows just how many shoppers were out and about there. On average, Oklahomans are expected to spend about $500 per household this season. Sales at stores are predicted to go up 5 to 6 percent from last year. And online sales are expected to double. And by the way, only 29 days left until Christmas, so you better get moving fast like they are. In more local news tonight, he's the star of the popular ABC sitcom, The Hughleys. And tonight, he's in Oklahoma City. Daryl Hughley, better known as DL, performed at the Myriad tonight. You may know him from his TV show that airs Friday nights here on Channel 5. But Hughley himself told us this evening that stand-up comedy is what he loves the best. Uh, television creatively satisfies me on so many levels because I, I write and produce and, and star on the show, and that, that is a very satisfying thing. But in terms of uh, stand-up, I do that all anyway, and it's all at the spur of the moment. This is the comedian's third trip to Oklahoma City. He says, as a general rule of thumb, audiences in the South and the Midwest are his favorites. Your 24-hour first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Rick Mitchell. Oh, I saw a lot of you out today putting up the holiday decorations, and uh, what a great day to do it. But if you were procrastinating, perhaps you just wanted to stay inside and watch those two great football games on Channel 5 today. You have plenty of time. You've got tomorrow and Sunday to get up those decorations because the weather will be great. In fact, a large chunk of next week looking pretty mild as well before we see some changes by Thursday and Friday. High temperatures across the state. I showed you the metro high temperatures earlier, but Stillwater made it up to 70. It was 68 in Enid. Woodward, you folks, all the way up to 76. Good job. That's the way to spend your late November with temperatures in the 70s. Currently across the state, 40s and 50s, the rule. It should not be as cold tonight as it has been the past few nights. Right now in Oklahoma City, it is mostly clear. A temperature of 47, 53 percent humidity. A southeast wind at 12 and our barometric pressure 2990, holding steady. The high today, well above normal at 68. 56 is the normal high. We bottomed out at 32 this morning and will likely not get that cold by tomorrow morning. We have had no rainfall, but you know what's been really stormy? The Pacific Northwest, they have had so many problems. In fact, they've got flooding problems, flooding in the lower elevations, heavy snow in the higher elevations, and the weather pattern that we're in right now is very favorable for the busy weather to stay 
in the northwestern United States and the tranquil weather, at least for the next few days, to stay across the southern U.S. Let me show you the radar, show you where all the busy weather has been. It was a soggy day in the eastern U.S. Boy, look at all the radar returns, all the rain and thunderstorms moving through there. Not much happening in the Pacific Northwest. You can see what activity was taking place has diminished, and the southern plains just dry, and that's the way it's going to stay. We could stand to use a little rain, but probably we'll have to wait until the end of next week before we see that. There'll be a front that moves through the area tomorrow, but about all it's going to do is shift our winds into the north. No rain associated with it. Much of the central U.S. stays dry. For those of you traveling on Sunday, boy, rather benign weather pattern. Lots of sunshine, maybe a few raindrops or snowflakes across the northern plains, but that's about it. My pinpoint forecast tonight, mostly clear. Temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s most areas. And tomorrow, sunshine and highs in the upper 60s and lower 70s. As I said, Bedlam forecast looks fantastic. My first alert forecast then for the metro area tonight, mostly clear, a low of 39 with a southwest breeze of 7 to 14. Breakfast time on a Saturday morning, I guess that could range anywhere from 7 to about noon, right? 41, we'll call it oh, about 8 o'clock at temperature of 41 and 68 tomorrow afternoon. A gradual shift of those winds northwest at 5 to 10. And the seven-day planning forecast will stay in the upper 60s Sunday and anywhere from 65 to 70, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then the next big storm system will start affecting us next Thursday. Have a great weekend, everyone. You're up to date with the latest 24-hour first alert forecast. And I guess I'm going to come over here and sit down. Jennifer, I know you have decorated. I've seen your house. It looks and kind it, of like Viva Las Vegas. Santa, can, Santa cannot miss that house. <laughs> well, you know, with little kids especially, it kind That's of motivates beautiful. Dad to get out there and hang up those I lights. I saw her you know? husband was out there last weekend just <laughs> going to town. Well, I'll tell him you liked it. Yeah, he did a good job. <laughs> thanks a lot, Rick. And thanks for joining us. But keep it right here because Ron Carroll and Ed Doney just three minutes away with all the highlights from tonight's high school football matchups in Prep Sports Extra. Find great gifts at great low prices now at Circuit City. Right now, get 10% off all appliances after mail-in rebate. Save on Whirlpool, GE, Frigidaire, and more. Get 10% off all appliances now at Circuit City.